Before getting into the product details and the features, let me provide you an overview of Couchbase Analytics Service. Couchbase Analytics Service helps users analyze the JSON data in near real time or real time without the need to extract, transform, and load your data into a separate system. That allows you to develop insight-driven applications easily and quickly. For example, these applications which you see are uh, underlying transaction applications, they go into and store into your Couchbase. Data service, analytics service enables, and users do this by creating a shadow copies of the underlying buckets or collections of the data which they would like to further analyze. And when these shadow data sets or collections get created, they're connected to the operational data or, or the query. With this continuous ingestion using database change protocol between operational nodes and the analytical nodes, it enables workload isolation that allows operational and analytics queries to run concurrently without impacting one another. There are two key focus areas, the operational analytics and real time. Operational analytics is the process to use data analysis and business intelligence to improve the efficiency and streamline everyday operations in real time. It's a new set of com combination of databases, workload, and system demands to achieve a competitive advantage for the modern enterprise. Hi, I'm Idris, I'm a product manager at Couchbase, managing the analytics product portfolio. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about external data sets, a new feature and capability as part of Couchbase Server version 6.6 and enhanced in Server 6.6.1. So let me uh, walk you through a demo and uh, uh, give a little bit of background about external data sets, right? So before I get started, external data sets is the ability for uh, Couchbase uh, customers to tap in and query data which is residing in Amazon S3, Amazon Web Services S3. And there are a variety of different use cases that customers uh, came to us and said, hey, we wanted to query our external data uh, by not leaving the Couchbase platform. We wanted the Couchbase analytics to directly query against the S3. They wanted to enrich that Couchbase data which is residing in Couchbase with external data. And they wanted real-time insights. So uh, to, to set up an example here, uh, I have this Amazon S3 here. I have a few folders here. Uh, and we're gonna use an e-commerce example where you have typically orders, uh, you have transactions, you have products, uh, you have a location uh, in country and so on and so forth. Uh, we have stored the archives for the previous year uh, in Amazon S3, as you can see, there are various orders here, which are orders from the US and there are orders from non-US and they are broken down into various JSON files. Also, we have the reviews of the product reviews, which are coming for each product and they're broken down into multiple uh, CSV files. Uh, the external data sets today supports uh, CSVs, uh, TSV tab separated values and JSON formats. We are working in future to expand it to other formats as well. So let's see how we can get set up and query these data from Couchbase Analytics. So first thing, we have to set up a uh, S3 link. To do that, uh, you create a link, you, and you give a name to a link. So I'm gonna give a name to the link. I'm gonna say this is a link of link type of type S3. You have to provide your AWS credentials so it can connect, right? And these are my creds and the region where the, M is, uh, the S3 uh, buckets reside. Mine reside in the US East, uh, Eastern region too. Save this. As you can see, a link gets instantly created for which is pointing to S3. It does not pull any data inside anything at this point in time. You don't need to do any connect uh, or link, which you typically do with other uh, data sets and collections. This is a stateless, uh, real-time uh, querying at that point in time when we execute a query. So the next step is let's go and set up the, uh, let's go and review the uh, CSV, the common separate uh, values and uh, get all the reviews for that. So for those, for those kind of file formats, you have to define a inline definition structure. So we'll create an external data set of uh, this name S3 product reviews, and we're gonna define the various elements within the comma separated file. 
from a separated value file, which are located right here. And what we are saying is, hey, create this data set on this particular uh, bucket, which is on S3 at this particular link, which we just created. And this is the path where the CSVs reside. Uh, the format of the SCV, uh, CSV uh, include all the CSVs. You have the ability to uh, include uh, wild, uh, wildcard characters. And you can say, I only want a certain CSVs. I only want a certain uh, CSV starting with a certain date, maybe 2019 or 2021 and with certain character. But in this case, we're going to select all CSVs. And uh, the header is false, means there are no headers. So that's why we're defining the, 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 the structure here. So we execute here. And as you can see on the right-hand side, this S3 product reviews data has been created. Now let's do a quick uh, query and uh, you know, just get a few products and product reviews uh, from S3 and some data from the products, which we already have it here. So we already have some data for products, some users, orders coming from United States uh, only. We also have data, which is the orders coming from non-US data, which is all the current data. This is, this is not the archive data, which is sitting on S3. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at these product reviews, right? And combine with the products and all, or simply we are saying is, tell us to review uh, what the review is and what product it is and limit it to three. So you can quickly see that this executes it and connects to S3 and it brings the product reviews. Now this is a very simple query. Let's go. Let, let's say we wanted to see the the, the number of the, the customers who have given the most reviews, the highest, the best reviews, right? And uh, with the average rating and and is, is is greater than nine, and and for those users, right? Try to understand what kind of what kind of order size have they uh, are they placing? So the folks are giving a high prolific reviews. Uh, so we basically uh, do, do a count here, find the average rating for, for that. And uh, where we are where we are getting only for, you know, more than nine, which is the, the, the rating. And, and then we just want those folks who are uh, placing that order. So let's execute this query. It's more analytical query. It's got group by, it's got a commentable expression. It's got some aggregations. So what we are seeing here is it's gonna get the folks which have given the highest prolific reviews there order size. So you're able to now blend in and get in the data with some analytic query you know, with, uh, with the data of products residing in Couchbase, uh, uh, data residing in Couchbase and the, and the product reviews on S3. So that's, that's one example. Let's go and create an example where we can uh, query from the JSON files, which we saw earlier. The JSON files again are on the, uh, let's go to archive right here. And these are on, uh, 400,000 records, 400,000 transaction orders uh, sitting on archives. So let's go create a, a external data set. Uh, you can again, again create it from the, uh, the, the link right here, or you can directly fire a, a DDL statement, creating an external data set uh, of type S3 orders. This is a new data set we're gonna create uh, on that particular bucket on S3 at the link which, which we have created. And uh, it's in the same location, but uh, it's in within the archive folder and the format is JSON. Once we create this, as you can see on the right-hand side, the S3 orders is now created. And uh, it's a JSON format. So let's go and just kind of query, uh, like, you know, what this query S, this S3 itself without even, even doing anything um, and, and getting the top uh, 10 products from S3, not even combining anything with, with, with Couchbase. So purely just goes into S3 and it gets, hey, give me the total of all, all the top products, uh, which has a, 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 a partition by the various countries, right? And, and, above, and with the highest amount of sale. And this is just executing on the archive. So execute this and this should bring back all the various uh, products we have by country because we're partitioning and using a window function. And it'll tell us, hey, for country US, the the, the best-selling product is uh, handmade metal towels, and 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 the the archive amount here is is being this three nine eight eight three, and so on and so forth. You can see there's India, Spain, etc., and the top countries uh, for and each product within that. Uh, another example I wanted to share is uh, I want to combine the data which is sitting here on S three, all the archive orders, and then I want to compare that with my existing orders, 
which are sitting from the US and the rest of the world and put it all together uh, and, and, and blend it and, and derive some insights. So I have this query where you're getting the top five uh, selling products in the US, right? Just get it from the US orders, which we already have uh, a collection and a data set defined here. Then we are gonna get the same thing for the non-US uh, orders, right? And then we are gonna get uh, the, uh, the data, we're gonna actually union them all, both of them together to get, uh, so that way we have the top five of US and non-US together, so again, using a window function. So we don't have to do too many group buys, it's partition and it's, 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 it's rolled up by country. And we're gonna get the data now from S3. So now you can see now we're creating a common table expressions where you're getting from S3 orders, right? And, and then we finally combine all the query which we have done, combining S3, the top three countries of US and non-US, everything together. And then we will report the results that give me the top five, uh, right? Uh, of, of the results and for Europe and North America and show me the difference between the archived amount and the current amount. So I can actually see what the differential is between what the orders are placed for the same product. Let's execute this. So as you can see, this is, this is kind of, sounds like a complex query, but it's actually broken down very easily to, to get to our result. As you can see here, uh, we have country uh, United States. In this case, we have a product. Uh, and then it tells you what was the archive amount. It was, you know, 14,469, right? And uh, in, in the archive, and today the same product is 83,000. So there is an increase of 68,000, which is great, and so on and so forth. And so you can do a quick analysis here and by combining the data from uh, S3 uh, with Couchbase. And this enables you, as, as we spoke earlier, to enable more data enrichment, you can extend your analytics reach and it provides you faster time to insights. So uh, thank you for watching this. Hopefully you get a good understanding of external data sets and how it helps further expand your reach and tap into the, uh, the data lake of, uh, of Amazon uh, S3. Thank you, have a great day.